so yes i i think we've we've um we've raised a number of ideas there around personal as as you as you as one you know takes on this journey of self development these are some of sort of the traps that one should uh, sort of look out for or um have in mind to ensure they don't get sort of caught up in in those kind of traps um and as we close i don't know if you have any other thoughts and ideas that we probably might not have discussed in this conversation. I know we might not be able to exhaust everything and the idea is not to really exhaust, uh, but to highlight a few things that uh, somebody needs to bear in mind. And and most of these were coming out of our own experience uh, mm -hmm. as, 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 as people that have been in this journey and continue to be on this journey. As I said, you know, the idea of self-development is not that you'll ever reach, uh, but to continue yeah. make progress and uh, improve your life in one way or the other. So I think this, as, as we wrap up, uh, I don't know if you have any other thoughts and ideas that you, you might want to add. I feel like we have, uh, we have spoken around the core aspects of self-development maybe not um, in clearly distinct points, but as people listening, um, I believe our listeners would have a good perspective of the struggles we have mentioned that we encounter in this journey of self-development and things that the audience should know are struggles that we ourselves are facing right going through this as well because as people i believe fundamentally that there is no way else to grow than through what has been branded as self-development must we call it that way call it that not necessarily but this is how we we have come to describe the quest for getting better for improving for rising in our careers for becoming better children to our parents becoming better brothers and sisters better spouses and partners, better individuals, just so we would get a perception of advancing towards a desired destination. Because I believe one of the biggest tragedies a human being can go through really is to live without a sense of, I am making progress. I think that is a very, it's a miserable way to live and it usually leads to a lot of desperation. And this gets compounded by other issues that may even eventually be termed as mental health issues. So they, they to have a feeling in your life that you are moving towards a desired place, a desired uh, goal is very, very important. What can I say to close? Maybe just to highlight in this journey of self-improvement, self-development, we should really be very conscious of the fact that it is easy to get into a trap of continuously just absorbing things from other people and never truly discovering ourselves in a way that we would know beyond reasonable doubt that we also have a lot to give to the world and maybe not to the world as the books we have read have reached, but at least to the person who is next to you. Maybe you are just in a family of two. How else could you, how much better would the life of the person you are living with become if you are advancing yourself towards a better version of you, right? And how much better would their lives be if in this journey of developing yourself, you were also putting out that improvement, you are finding out the beautiful gems within you and sharing and giving them away. Because there, there, is, there is no other way that we gain fulfillment than making a contribution, than giving of something of our own making of our own gain and if that thing if you can make that thing that you give to people 
in essence, truly who you are authentically, there is satisfaction in that beyond measure. And the second point I would add is there is ultimately a feeling of lack of satisfaction with how far I have come today. We, we hardly have that feeling of satisfaction of how far I have come. And one fundamental reason for that is the globalization, the overexposure and oversharing. And maybe you are not a sharing type. So you don't even kind of try to package your achievements and your success into a short, thrilling 35 seconds, right? And other people may do. And when they share it, it looks remarkable. And it makes you feel like you haven't gone anywhere. What is a way to, you know, at least have a sense of satisfaction about your own achievements, no matter how small they are, we need a level of, don't docu not documentation for the world, but a level of, you know, recording of the little accomplishments you have made so that you can also look back and see something that shows a track record of progress. Now, you know that I cycle a lot, Andrew. And every day before I mount on my bicycle, I click track mm -hmm. on, on, my, on, on a, on a tra fitness tracking app that I have on my phone. Now, I derive pleasure when I go back and see that since I started cycling, let's say like in August, because I've not been cycling until like consistently until like August. And up till today, I've cycled over 700 kilometers. Wow. By just doing, <laughs> by just doing basic, yeah, amazing, right? If I wasn't recording those basic daily 5, 10, 16 kilometers that I do sometimes, and then being able to look back and see them, I would not feel that I have made something. And maybe it's easier said than done in certain aspects of life to keep track of those things. But wherever possible, the idea I'm saying is we should have a way of putting together the little steps that we are making so that we can also look back and see a trend of that goes up like this. Maybe it's not going to go up like this, like a straight line, you know? It's going to be like this and then like this. But what is a trend over time? It's an upward trend. If you study your life carefully, it's mostly an upward trend. And we would need to look, have a way to look back, take stock of that, and have gratitude for it. It's very important. And just to add to that, because you are going to see a lot of other people's achievements. You are going to see a lot of other people's success. We should know that when we look at that, we are not comparing that with a well-compiled version of ourselves. We compare, we compare the well-shiny exterior of other people with the depths of our being, with the full knowledge of ourselves and our flaws and our failures and our downfalls and everything else. And there is no way you would do that and be on top. That is just going not to happen. So like you just suggested, we have to learn to stop comparing ourselves with other people because in essence, you don't compare yourself with other people. You compare yourself with the shiny exterior of other people. And you would have to learn to compare yourself only with yourself because that's what you actually know how to compare yourself with. You cannot in any way possible compare yourself with other people because you don't know them. But in full, you can compare yourself today with yourself yesterday. You can compare yourself this month with yourself last month. And maybe sometimes yourself today might be less than yourself yesterday. It's okay. We have to acknowledge that we are on a journey and some days we would fall. Some steps, we will take them and we will plunge on our faces. Should you lie down and wallow in the dust or the mud now? 
Should you be down there beating yourself for falling? No, that is, we, can, we know for sure that if someone fell, someone else fell down and you beat them for falling, that would be cruel. But we do this to ourselves. So it's going, it's hard to learn, but we have to learn. <laughs> we have to learn that when we fall, we shouldn't for any reason beat ourselves for falling. We shouldn't beat ourselves for falling down. We should pick ourselves up, pat ourselves on the back for trying that step and failing and move on. Great. And then finally, <laughs> God. finally, the point I want to close with maybe um, mm. is the fact that in this journey of self-development, if you think about it, like I mentioned earlier, I alluded to this, it's like, it's like climbing a mountain and the objective is not to reach the mountain peak. The objective is to keep climbing. There is no other objective. Like you are not trying to reach the top of the mountain. You are just trying to make sure that every day or maybe every week in some way, you are climbing. That is the definition of self-development. There is no mountain peak to reach. What are you supposed to do? Does this mean that there is no concept of the ultimate goal or the place where you want to find yourself? No. It means that you have to you have to carefully think and choose the direction in which you want your life to go and then focus on making steps in that direction. Are they going to be linear, straight line? No. We move in life like zigzag. But the, the overall trend, the direction should be leading to where you, at least as far as you can conceptualize, because we are not very intelligent to know exactly if what we are doing is going to take us to where we want to go. But if you believe so, that these things that are these are the steps I need to take to get to where I want to go, then focus on doing them. And as you take them, you gain more clarity. Like they say, you cannot drive from Mosanze to Kigali in the night. To drive from Mosanze to Kigali in the night in the darkness, that all you need to see is the next hundred meters, not the full road and you'll get here. And so what do you need to do? Make a step, because when you make one step, you see how to make the next step. That is maybe all I have for today. Wow, well put. I, I'm always reminded of uh, one guy who says, and um, actually it's a friend of mine, it's, it, he's, he says, it's a day-to-day Effort. Uh, Keyword effort. Day to day, yeah. Uh, Keyword day to day effort. Yes. Yeah. Another one says, "Um, all I'm focused on is just putting one foot in front of the other." And as yeah. you say, that that's traveling from Musanze in the night, or rather from either way, from Kigali to Musanze or Musanze to Kigali. All you need yeah. to focus on is you know, the next 50 feet, maybe that's how far your, your lights take you. Yeah. And it's the same thing. I, I think I've always, actually one of the questions that I've been asking myself, how do I ensure that I'm, I'm having that as my guiding principle, putting one foot yeah. in front of the other, living day to day, that as much as I'm looking to that future, that future is based on the actions I'm doing minute by minute. Yeah. Um, and and yes, you've put it well. I think everything is is just perspective. We've, we've perspective. Really, um, hashed out some of those key components around personal development traps. Mm -hmm. And I hope the listeners uh, have gotten something out of this. I think more importantly, I'd like to hear from them. What are some of the traps you've encountered and what have you done to sort of uh, overcome those or ensure that you don't? 
get ensnared into those traps. Um, what are some yeah. of your thoughts and ideas about just what we've discussed? Please share those in the comments below. Um, and I also recommend, yes, you subscribe, um, you share. Please subscribe, like, share, and, and um, like. Hope, like, <laughs> share, subscribe, drop yes. a comment. Drop a um, comment in there. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning then, uh, to learn. How to say this? Head to this. head to <laughs> head to the People Skills YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel. There yes. is very little content I must say, and I'm still working on. Um, I, I'm trying to make it interactive because I really find that it's it. I struggle when I speak all by myself, which is how I've been operating so far. So I am working on trying to do something similar to what Andrew is doing here. So, but do head to my channel and subscribe. Um. Be ready to get amazing content in the days coming up. And you can also check me out on my website. I think Andrew will drop all of those things I'll down put in all the those comments and, below. Uh, yeah, please share all your socials, uh, Kizito. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I put them on the description box. Um, Thank you, Andrew. I'll try yes, and figure I'll, out how we can put a ticker or something in the video um, so that mm -hmm. people can then follow uh, you. Uh, on all the key socials and uh, sort of uh, get to hear from you and, and the wisdom you have. So um, I you. hope I can get to invite you again and we can have some of this kind of conversation, probably see if we can make this a regular feature. Anytime, you know, I'm, I'm available as much as I can make time. And I really appreciate having discussions like this because it's also a way to untangle my mind you know like i mentioned i write to make things make make sense to me i also speak sometimes to help myself make sense out of some of the things that i've been thinking about and it's in moments like this that you get to also gain clarity or at least in moments that you're preparing for things like this that you gain clarity about some of the things that you've been doing and you get to appreciate also the depth of your mind because I believe that if we don't share or if we are not in the quest to share and produce wisdom, we would not know that it lives within us as well. Great. And I think that's a great way to close this. Thank you very much for your time and for your wisdom. I look forward to more of this kind of conversation. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go out there. And... Uh, it's peace and out for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Take care.